Fulton making a rare visit here to Chicago. He's in town with his brother Marlon, and they're actually promoting a cable channel here. ABC 7's Leah Hope is live this afternoon at McCormick Place with more about his visit. Hi, Leah. Well, you know, Alan, there are plenty of conventions that come in and out of McCormick Place. This time, it is the National Cable Telecommunications Association that has taken up residence here temporarily. But it's actually just a few big names, one you just mentioned, who have stolen the show. And yes, you're right, Michael Jackson was here because his big brother, Marlon, told him to be here. At least that's what Marlon Jackson says. There he is, making his way through the crowd. A lot of people are supposed to be at other workshops and other exhibits, of course. They wanted to catch a glimpse and catch a glimpse of Chris Tucker, comedian, actor, another big name here. And they both came as friends of the network NBC, that is Major Broadcasting Cable Network. The people at NBC claim it is the largest African-American operated and owned cable satellite network. And they wanted to make a big splash at this annual industry convention, and they wanted to get more attention for their five-year-old network. African American television has a place, there's a niche. We want to serve a market that's been underserved, and uh, we just thank all the cable operators for supporting MBC. We're doing some uh, uh, some creative things with them, producing shows and doing some stuff, and uh, you know, just being a part of that. And it's just a great place to be. Um, all the cable affiliations are here, so we're here just um, with MBC supporting them. Now you notice you saw Michael Jackson, but you didn't hear from him. He didn't say anything. He endured a few photos and find, signed a few autographs, and that was about it. This is a great lesson for anyone in PR. You want your company to get some attention. Have Michael Jackson come on through with you. Reporting live from McCormick Place, Leah Hope, ABC 7 News. Back to you, Alan. Yeah, sometimes, somehow he manages to draw a good deal of attention, no matter what he does. Yeah. He Leah, sure does. thank you so much. Uh, in other news today, two people now recovering from burns after someone today and finally here at five o'clock nearly 200 high school students when he tries to make an appearance here in town at mccormick place we're live with the intriguing detail in chicago the king of pop michael jackson makes a rare appearance in town it's all part of his whirlwind windy city tour to promote a new cable channel Jackson and comedian Chris Tucker are here in town for MBC, the major broadcasting company. And it's a new 24-hour African-American owned and operated channel. NBC5's Jennifer Mitchell has been following the story for us. She joins us now live from McCormick Place with more on the story. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, well, one of Michael Jackson's brothers is part owner of NBC. And who better to generate some publicity about your new network than your own celebrity brother? It was chaotic at times, hundreds vying to get a glimpse of the King of Pop. Michael Jackson arrived at McCormick Place to promote a 24-hour cable network in which his brother Marlon is part owner. But most fans didn't have a clue why he was here. NBC? No. Do you know what that is? No. Cable network? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Cameras in hand, many just happy to get a glimpse of Michael Jackson. Earlier this year, Jackson was at the receiving end of tough criticism after this stunt when he dangled one of his children over a balcony. But today he is hoping to generate positive publicity for the major broadcasting cable network, a 24-hour cable channel committed to providing wholesome entertainment for the entire family. It was a madhouse, but it got NBC Network, it got our name out there. Uh, we brought some good publicity to the trade show here. So all in all, it was a win-win situation. Competitors know this could be good for the relatively new network. The MJ word is a good word in Chicago. Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. So since Michael Jordan's probably not here, Michael Jackson is a good alternative, I think. Jackson and comedian Chris Tucker help announce a major deal between the network and four major black sports conferences. Basketball and football games will begin airing on the network this fall. He's appealed to so many and still does, despite everything. The network started actually in 1998, and it is carried by some cable companies here in Chicago. You might find this surprising. Jackson was here, but he didn't say two words today. He's expected in Gary, Indiana, his hometown, later this week on Wednesday. Live at McCormick Place, Jennifer Mitchell, NBC5 News. All right, thank you, Jennifer. Well, television history... He still can draw a crowd. He was at McCormick Place, where a national cable convention is being held, and he showed his support for a new cable network that is geared toward African Americans, a network partly owned by one of his brothers. Darlene Hill has the story. 
Michael Jackson is in town today to show his support for a black-owned and operated cable network. It's called MBC, Major Broadcasting Company. While he's not talking to reporters, the owners say the King of Pop is excited about the network because it offers family programming, no videos or comedy shows, and his brother Marlon Jackson is part owner, along with baseball great Cecil Fielder and attorney Willie Gary. We spend at least 75 hours before the television every week. That's 40% more than any other group in this nation. We account for 25 cent out of every dollar that is made uh, through cable television. And uh, I'm just happy that we have NBC. The former gloved one, along with funny man and actor Chris Tucker, were supposed to sit down and sign autographs, but there were too many people and not enough room in the booth. We're doing some uh, uh, some creative things with him, producing shows and doing some stuff and, uh, you know, just being a part of that. And it's just a great place to be. Jackson will be in the Midwest for the rest of the week. On Tuesday, he'll be in Indianapolis for a deposition on a copyright case. And on Wednesday, he'll be in Gary for a homecoming ceremony. He'll meet some high school students at one of the schools there. And he'll go back to 2200 Jackson Street, his boyhood house, and a place that he still calls home. Darlene Hill, Fox News, Chicago. Today, Michael Jackson stopped by McCormick Place for a cable TV convention. Mm-hmm. That's Michael Jackson. He was helping his brother Marlon publicize the major broadcasting network. Marlon is one of the owners of NBC. On the morning show today, Marlon Jackson said the 24-hour network provides family entertainment to counter negative images of African Americans. I was sure that there's a backlash, and I've always been cognizant of the immense volume of negative images being projected to our youth. And now, since we started seeing violent acts pop up in the suburbs, America started to take notice and realize we got to do something about this. Marlon Jackson also defended his brother, saying he believes Michael is a great parent. He also says the media tries to find controversy with his brother to boost ratings. Well. In our defense, you don't have to look very far. Maybe he'll give Michael his own channel on the cable network. Okay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alcohol and here in Chicago, Jackson and comedian Chris Tucker made an appearance at McCormick Place today. They're here for MBC, the major broadcasting cable network. It's a new 24-hour African-American owned and operated cable channel, and they want people to tune in. The MJ word is a good word in Chicago. Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. So. Since Michael Jordan's probably not here, Michael Jackson is a good alternative. Jackson and Tucker are in negotiations to develop some original programming, wholesome entertainment directed at urban. Plugging into a new venture. And what a thriller it was for his fans. They swarmed Michael Jackson as he walked into McCormick Place. He was there for the National Cable and Telecommunications Association Convention and to support his brother Marlon, who is launching MBC, a new cable network that will focus on positive primetime programming featuring African Americans. Later this week, Jackson will visit his hometown of Gary. Get this, for the first time in two decades. They're very thrilled about that there. Nice crowd there. That's it for CBS 2 News at 10. The Late Show.